Hey everyone, this is Dr. Alibi here from Stuart Chiropractic. And this is Ezra, a practicing kinesiologist. So together we're going to show you some ab exercises to stay fit, recover, and look great. Ezra's going to be demonstrating them and I'll talk along the way. We're going to start with some variations of the plank using a Swiss ball. All right. First one here is called stir the pot. You can do it on your knees, keep your forearms on the Swiss ball. You got a big pot of soup and you're stirring back and forth and you're gonna become shredded in through your abs here because you're gonna be working them in different directions than you're used to doing. You can go up on your toes, which is gonna be a lot more challenging. And Ezra's pretty fit and you can see that he's nice and stable here. You keep the glutes contracted. Great. Once you do that, you can get rid of the Swiss ball and you can just go straight into a traditional plank. Making sure you're staying nice and level through here. Squeeze the butt together, belly button towards the spine. Next thing you do, start to get in some more glute activation through here and start lifting each leg up independently. And Ezra likes to throw in the arms too. Show us the one that you're doing at uh, when you're working out. There you go. Get a little bit more shoulder work at the same time. That's a little more advanced. If you're shaking on any of these exercises, it means that it's too hard for you. Go back to the easier version where you're on your knees. And from here, you can go on your knees and your hands and actually get into what we call a bird dog position, which is great for the lower back and the abs at the same time. Great recovery exercise. If you're getting any shoulder pain, what you can actually do is cut out the arm movement and just do the legs. And make sure that as you bring this leg up, this is staying tight and activated, belly button towards the spine. It looks simple, but it's actually very challenging to do. And we can just get from this position straight up on our hands and our toes. Good, oh, on your hands, actually on your hands and uh, toes. Yeah, yeah, you got it. And then straighten out all the way. All the way, straighten out your legs. So nice. you, yeah, you got it, exactly, yep. Nice. There you go. And just holding a static position. Keep the belly button towards the spine. That's a great workout. You can go back onto your forearms, back to that plank position. And that's it. Okay. Ezra, any feedback? Um, good, just keep it safe, keep it stable, and keep it functional. Functional is the most important thing. Okay guys, enjoy that. Hope that helps you get a great ad workout.